Hi mate, welcome to Holy Habitus. The question for you today is, um, in which direction is your heart facing? What is your heart instinct? Is it trained to seek the Lord, or does it get drawn off towards worldly things, to worldly powers, to idols? We've got this theme runs through our, our readings for today in the One Year Bible Plan of July the 25th, um, from 2 Chronicles 14 and following of the King Asa who um, is a great king, really, and has a great reign because his heart is fully devoted to God. And uh, again and again we see this, um, and that results in peace. He gets rid of idols, and he encourages the people to obey the commands of the Lord and seek him with their whole heart. And when there is military trouble further down the line, he goes to God and he seeks him. His heart instinct is to pursue God. And as a result of that, God helps them out. However, towards the end of his reign, sadly, tragically, like other kings that we read of in the Chronicles accounts, and perhaps Solomon is a prototype, even David of this, that in the long haul, over time, there, there is some driftage of their hearts um, away from God. And uh, he gets attacked by Baasha of Israel, and, uh, and, and instead of going first, in the first instance to God, instead of his heart instinct being to pursue God and say, God, help me with this, he goes to the king of Aram, King Ben-Hadad, with all his, you know, armory and uh, uh, kind of military resource, rather than God in the first instance. And the prophet comes to him and challenges him and says, You know that the eyes of the Lord search the whole earth in order to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to him. You know that. What a fool you have been. From now on you will be at war. And that makes King Asa incredibly angry. He puts the prophet in jail and starts to oppress people. And these are all symptoms of a heart that has drifted. And we need to watch that ourselves. Um, it's a feature we see in Scripture that actually sometimes over the long haul, people who started off wholeheartedly devoted to God drift. And insidious sins creep up, grow up, blind spots um, end up allowing a sin in that eventually blindsides us. And so we need to watch that. Um, we need to make the prayer of David that we read today in the psalm, Psalm 19, our prayer today, verses 12 to 14, say, How can I know all the sins lurking in my heart? Cleanse me from these hidden faults. Keep your servant from deliberate sins. Don't let them control me. Then I'll be free of guilt, innocent of great sin. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Let's seek today to lift our hearts to God and ask that he purify them, that he strengthen them, that he um, purge them and cleanse them of all sin that might creep up. We need his help with that because we can't do our own strength. And, and, and ask him to make our heart instinct, our first heart instinct, to always be to pursue him, to seek him in all things.